so it is said that a satellite is rotating uh, about a planet of unknown mass and radius and the period of the rotation is given and the radius of the rotation is given so the radius is 8 into 10 to the power 6 meters uh, sorry, 6 meters and the period is given which is t 2.4 hours so these two information we have we also are given the one information that is the gravitational acceleration lowercase g on the surface of the planet that is just on the surface lowercase g that is 8 meter per second square and also the mass of the satellite is given so what we can do first is we can use Kepler's law t square over r cube and if we look at it 4 pi square over g m uppercase g which is the gravitational constant and in this equation the only unknown that we have is uppercase m which is the mass of the planet that we do not know but everything else we know because g of course gravitational constant we know and t is this one and r here is the radius of the orbit which is this one uppercase r i'm just writing uppercase r here so m becomes r cube over t square times 4 pi square over g uppercase g so once i plug in the values there this is uh, 18 to 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 cube over 2.4 into so i have to convert it into second this is in hours so multiplied by 3600 square times 4 pi square over this is gravitational constant which is in standard unit 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 once i do that the result that i get is 4.06 sorry 4. Point, i don't know can't write is zero apparently 4.06 times 10 to the power 24 kg so that is the mass of the planet now we need to find the radius of the planet which is which i can say lowercase r but we have been given the gravitational acceleration on the surface that is if i write this equation g is equal to gm over r square if i recall that equation this r corresponds to the gravitational acceleration on that point so when this is on the surface when we want to find the gravitational acceleration on the surface r becomes the radius if it was h let's say h meter above the surface then here we would have r plus h square that is the distance from the center basically but now this since this is on the surface the distance from the center to the surface is the radius of the planet so this is again gravitational constant 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 uh, in uh, gravitational constant in standard unit and this is we just found that 4.06 into 10 to the power 24 and in the denominator is 8 square because that is the uh, sorry uh, what I'm writing so I have to rearrange because um, this should be so I will just rewrite um, maybe I don't know I will rewrite it so this is becoming r square is equal to because r is unknown g m over g lowercase g so that is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 the gravitational constant times 4 point zero six into ten to the power twenty four and in the denominator that is g lowercase g which is gravitational acceleration at that point so r will be square root of this one and as a result the r that i got is five point eight one eight into ten to the power six meters so that is that turns out to be the radius of the planet